we've got a great buy of the toy variety and not just because of what I picked up no unlike some of the previous great buys this one actually has a great buy because of price but we're gonna start off with something else which honestly not so much of a good price but had to grab them and I don't know why well James is really into cars so we've been buying them Hot Wheels and Matchbox and stuff like that um, and of course when you're in the dinky cars and all the you know section stuff like that you see things like green light and green light collectibles has the hollywood set and stuff that they release and i saw these and i was like okay green light is like super detailed and stuff like that so you pay a little bit extra i didn't realize how much extra but because the price tag wasn't right it's quite a bit extra <laughs> but whatever I rang them through at the cash they came up whatever I bought them and that's the Terminator 2 Judgment Day 1979 Ford Limited Country Squire and the 1983 Ford Limited Crown Victoria police car um, now at first I was like okay green light great things and then I was also gonna get the American greatest American hero car but I noticed that, like, all of the tires, the, the, um, see, the, the, the white wall, the, you know, the stripe on the tires, they're all messed up. So I was like, okay, that's great. And I thought, okay, these ones look okay. But then, honestly, I, I should have paid closer attention. I didn't realize it. Would, look at, look at that light. Look at that light. Like, it's not on properly. And even, even these hubcaps are a little off. I mean, for the prices you're paying, the quality control has to be, like, crazy, crazy, crazy better than this. So these are at 164 scale, so, I don't know. They're cool. They're Terminator 2. I grabbed them. I may have to look for a... Maybe I'll go with M2. I, I don't know. If you're into, you know, collecting, uh, you know, those sm small die-cast cars which is the best one out there who's the best maker of that kind of stuff that you know if i'm going to be buying them which one should i get let me know down below but the great buy due to price is because um yeah i picked up from walmart these two figures here we got princess leia endor and the atst driver and it all started with um, picking up Paplu. And I grabbed two Paplus because I needed Paplu. And I thought I had the Princess Leia and the ATST, which I did. But what I didn't know was when I, I bought these ones first day, and when they rang up, they rang up for $9 each. Normally they're like $18. That was half price. Um, so, yeah, I, gra I went back the next day and grabbed an extra because I only had, I normally only get one. I normally only get one. I love Ewoks, so I grabbed two of the Ewoks. But I normally only grab one of these because they're so pricey. Like $20 for a figure. But when they rang up at, at $9 the next day, I went and grabbed one of each more because then I can get the, the duplicates. And I can, I can open one if I want to. But I couldn't believe it. I was tempted to go back and buy everything that was there at the nine dollars, and you know maybe flip it for fifteen or something like that, um, and you know offset some of the other prices. But you know what? I got better things to do than scalp. So even though that would be less than you'd get normal, but anyways, you know what I'm saying. I'll let somebody else find them because these were actually hidden off. I found them in a couple of Walmarts now. I did, I haven't checked the other Walmart if they are also $9 there or if it was only at this one Walmart. The Walmarts have been having wonky prices. I've seen a lot of people scoring things like G.I. Joe's um, from the new movie series at like 2 or $0.03 cents each. Yeah, at that price, I'd buy them too. Um, but I've checked and they weren't ringing up for that. They were ringing up for regular price. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's 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 one of those things where it's like you know what I, I when you find out that there's a great buy of this caliber like half price, you get on it, and um, yeah, 
I, I couldn't I couldn't pass it up. I had to get some more. So I have left the rest for another collector to partake in my joys. Seeing as how I'm not selling these, I don't care if they get them cheap. <laughs> these are mine for my collection. So there you go. But yeah, let me know. Um, are you managing to find any Star Wars deals? Because normally I don't. And what's up with the prices on those things? But yeah. Who should I be collecting? Who is the go-to person to collect that's worth the money? Because these are like almost $10 a piece here. And that's a little bit too much for a little car that isn't even perfect. I don't even know how these wheels roll. Because they're in a package that I can't even open without essentially making it worthless. It's a dilemma that all collectors face. You want to play with the toy, but at the same time, once you play with it, the toy's not worth anything. And I'd never know that this was a Terminator 2 Judgment Day limited edition 1983 Ford limited Crown Victoria release. Uh, if it wasn't in the package. That's, uh, that's all I'm saying. Does it say anything? Like Hot Wheels say stuff on the bottom. I don't even see anything really stamped on the bottom. So, yeah, let me know. All you, you car collectors out there, I know, I know you're out there. What am I supposed to get? What is the go-to collectible die-cast mini, you know, Hot Wheels size car? Anyways, thanks for watching. Till next video, take care. Have a good one.